All right, you got Will, you got Melanie, you got Antonio. What do you know? The president targeting the rich, but he's still fundraising with the rich. New reports that say the president just holding a secret meeting with some Hollywood power players and brokers to boost his reelection campaign. But will it bulker? Bro uh, will it backfire? Well, in other words, will it will it hit him on the hypocrisy front? Uh, presidential historian Jane Hampton Cook joining me now. Jane, you say he's got to be careful because this sends mixed messages. Explain. Well, it certainly does send mixed messages. I mean, on one hand, he's schmoozing, yucking it up with these Hollywood wealthy types. And then he's also using, invoking some class warfare, going after the rich, wanting to tax them in his latest proposals to Congress. So it could backfire on him, just that mixed message, if nothing else. And I think Americans are a little tired of the class warfare rhetoric. And so I think that may backfire more than anything. But real quickly, before we get to some examples, Dane, I mean, um, the crowd he's addressing, the Hollywood crowd, they by and large agree with what he's saying in the class warfare argument, even though they themselves are quite well off, right? Oh, that's definitely true. I mean, they are with Obama, with his ideology. They are with him. He, they, he's got his support solidly, you know, coming from Hollywood. So no. I don't think that's the group. I think Americans just in general, um, they don't like the class warfare um, back and forth and the rhetoric. And I think that may backfire a little bit. But really, it's unprecedented in a campaign for a second term to talk about raising taxes and then going out and lobbying from some of those same people a money for your own your own pocket. So I think that's you, where you, it's a little and, unusual. And there is the bigger issue of just not quite doing what you're saying or appearing to have. Now, Ronald Reagan was very, very careful of this. He came from a great deal of wealth himself as an actor bemoaned all the taxes he had to pay. He did have a Hollywood crowd that he hung out with, Frank Sinatra and some others. Sure. But, but uh, what was the difference there? I think the difference was the policy. You know, Ronald Reagan, um, as an actor, realized that 90% of his income back in the 40s was going to taxes. And I think that turned him from an FDR liberal into the conservative that, that emerged. So I think a, the primary So he hung out with a like-minded crowd, right? He didn't, it was a like-minded crowd. Did exactly. That make a difference? Frank Sinatra okay. had come his way. Yes, right. I think it does make a difference. Sure. What about JFK? Sure. What's the issue? What, where and how was he consistent on message? Well, his fiscal policy was much more conservative than President Obama's. And for, it was a different time. We had a budget surplus in the early 60s. And that led the Kennedy team to realize, hey, we can cut taxes at 90 percent. It can come down to 70. And it did in 1964. Right. And so I think that's the, the times are different. And, um, you know, lots of presidents have had celebrity friends and parties with, with celebrities. That's not all that unusual. I think it's just the timing of, hey, we're in a campaign, we're raising money, but we're also talking about policy of raising taxes on the top 1% or top tier of Americans. Now, Richard Nixon alienated a lot of people when they got wind of those tapes, right? Then they heard the coarse language, and he really could never recover from that, right? Because it was a very different image from a the guy they didn't expect it, right? That's right. You saw one image on the tapes and then the other image that had been, you know, waving from the airplane from Air Force One. And so that that change of persona really did hurt him. And uh, I think you definitely saw that with with Richard Nixon. But real quickly on Barack Obama, no signs yet that the mixed messages are damaging or, or, or they will. I think they potentially could. I don't okay. think there's a sign that, that they are. I just think that there are, you know, it's a definitely an inconsistent message and certainly unprecedented from what we've seen in past um, presidential campaigns. Jane Hampton Cook, great seeing you again. Thank you very much. Great to see you. Thank you. Meanwhile, to the Democrats on the Super Committee.